Hello everybody. Today what I'd like to do is speak with you about uh, some of the features that we have in the uh, Wi-Fi scan function within Wolf Wi-Fi. And so let's get started. And when you're in uh, the Wi-Fi scan, what it does is it interrogates the device and all the audible uh, Wi-Fi signals that are coming in are presented here in the list. And if you're in a congested area, the list could be quite lengthy. Anyway, what it amounts to is it shows you, at a glance, in the summary view, it shows the SSID that's being transmitted and received. It shows you the MAC address or the SSID. It also shows you the decimal readings. We also have an icon that shows you the signal strength in a visual or graphical presentation. We also have a padlock that's displayed here. If the, uh, if the particular uh, access point is secured, it will show a green with a padlock that's locked. And if it is unsecured, then it will be an unlocked padlock and that will be red. So it gives you another visual indicator quickly as you look through the list of any um, access points that might have security issues or are completely open within your network that you're monitoring or when you're out. We also have an icon that indicates this antenna that goes to solid blue to let you know which access point and which radio you're actually attached to on that particular network. In this case, I'm attached to the very first one and then you'll see some details under that here in just a second. Anyway, like I said, the list is constantly refreshing, so you're getting real-time feedback as you walk about with the Wi-Fi scanner open. The other thing we have is we have some mini options at the bottom. Like I said, the uh, list can be quite lengthy if you're in a congested area with a lot of Wi-Fi uh, signals coming in. So what we what we've done is we've incorporated a pause scan. And by doing that, what it does is it just basically tells the app to pause on whatever you just saw and report it in. And then if the list was long enough, then it allows you to scroll up and down to take a look and see a snapshot of what's going on at that point in time. Then we have a resume button and it allows it to go ahead and start repolling and seeing what other uh, devices might report in at any given time. As I was saying before, we are in summary mode right now, but we would like to look at the detail underneath that. So it, it expands the view and shows you all the detail that is being transmitted by that access point that these devices can see in any given time. And as you can see, since I'm attached to this particular access point, and it shows me my security, shows the frequency number that it, uh, is being broadcast, the channel, shows me again the live DVM signal here as well as here shows me the IP address that I've been assigned when I connected to this network. It also shows me my megabytes per second, my connection speed, and if it assigns me a network ID, then I see that. And again, you can scroll up and down and see those. And if I have a long list, I can pause. It allows me to take a closer look. The next thing that we have is if you were to tap on any of those rows, then we have an options, options that come up say manage Wi-Fi connection or we can track the signal source. The manage Wi-Fi connection will actually take you into the Wi-Fi manager of the device. So we just call that to that and then the normal device or Wi-Fi manager that's built into the device will show up at that point in time. It allows you then to uh, add access points or make any adjustments turn something off, disconnect from one, anything that you might need to do. The other thing to let you know too is that if you have a, a SID that you're looking for that is not broadcasting the SID or an access point that's not broadcasting the SID, then if you add it to your uh, access point list, then you will actually be able to monitor that as well and it will show up. The other option is to track the signal source. And what we've done is we've given you just a little bit bigger visual cue that you can uh, see and home in on a particular access point 
And we've actually used this to locate uh, access points that were in and drop ceilings or whatever uh, to help find those. And because you can walk and depending upon the device that you're using, whether it be a tablet or whether it be your phone or what have you, then it's easy to kind of walk around and start seeing where your signal strength improves. And we again give you the details here. The other thing that we have on this particular screen is we have the uh, tone button. And if you tap that, then the tone generator will tone based upon the signal strength that you have. And it will change the tone and frequency uh, based upon the signal strength at any given time. So if our signal improves, the signal strength will go up. turn that off. But how this might be valuable to you is you could actually set this tablet up on the other side of the room. You've got something nice and big that you can see and you hear a tone. And if you're trying to adjust an antenna that might be behind something, uh, it gives you two other cues. It'll either give you an audio, audible cue that you've made a correct adjustment or not, as well as a, uh, something a little bit easier to see across the room. Anyway, that's all we have as far as the Wi-Fi scan. We uh, appreciate you taking a look at that today.